Listen, bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get this, bro. Hey, yo, there's, I'm shouting now. I'm gonna shout my man up, Sean. That was a great question. Do you still listen to R. Kelly at this current situation? I'm gonna respond like this. Fuck ass no. Fuck ass no. But I'm a little biased though, cause I do bump Michael. That I do bump Michael. So I, I ain't going. I I ain't fucking with R. Kelly, yo. I bump Michael cause you can't. I, you you feel me? You can't prove. And honestly, I don't believe it cause he didn't. He was never charged. But R. Kelly's situation is different. This man is being charged, bro. This it shit is. There's no if, ands, or buts. Like, this nigga really standing trial for that shit. There's a lot of people right now in the industry that's really standing trial for shit. And niggas was like, nah, yo, from 30 years ago, that shit shouldn't matter. This shit, this shit wasn't 30 years ago. I mean, it could have been 20-something years ago. But wrong is wrong, bro. Wrong is wrong. If, I, if, you chopped the, if you chopped the baby up in 1980 because it's 2022, almost 2020, 2019... That shit don't make you, oh, it's cool. Oh, no, he did it in 19, he just chopped the baby up in 1980. He good now, like, that shit passed, like, no, that shit is dead all the way fucking, what the fuck is wrong with you people? If you, no, no, no. And, like, I know niggas going, niggas crucify me for all that shit about Michael and all that, but look, what the fuck? Niggas can't drive, y'all. Don't get me. Don't get me to go on. And then this white motherfucker. Excuse me, yo, because I ain't racist, but he in a monster truck right now, and he he's just been a dick. He just slapped in the middle of the street. I think white people be trying to cause accidents and shit, so they be like, he belligerently acted this way. Anyway, back to this. Look, I'm going to end it on this note, right? No. I don't give a fuck. How talented a nigga is, or what's his sexual preference? But when you start fucking with the kids, bro, we start fucking with the kids, yo. That's when I, I really ain't, I really don't, I really can't. And I always felt like weird about this shit. You get what I'm saying? Like Michael, I never really got the fan of like I don't. I feel like niggas fuck with Michael anyway. Niggas wasn't fucking with R. Kelly. Nigga, who, when niggas ain't really was coming at R. Kelly head like that, niggas. Were, Everybody was fucking with my every and say I'm lying, yo. He had media, he had like South Park fucking coming from. He had everybody niggas was cutting alley jokes on niggas used to talk about his nose all day, every day. Yo, niggas ain't leave Michael alone. So when it come to like some like incriminating shit, it's hard to delegate between that situation and R. Kelly, because R. Kelly ain't really been going, he ain't really been going through legal shit to my knowledge before this. Michael been in and out of court because niggas been, or not even court, but niggas just got it. They, his name in their mouth. He been a star since he was seven or six years old or whatever. He was young and shit. You ain't telling me, you feel me? It's, it's different, different levels to that shit, yo. So, again, I'm going to say this one last time. No, I do not bump R. Kelly Muna. And I personally believe that hey, you fucking with him and you're wearing your morals. I'm going to keep it fu- I'm going to keep it funky because I'm going to offend some people. I think you don't have any morals. Honestly, I don't think that you really give a fuck about, you know, what's right and what's wrong. And you making it acceptable. You making it acceptable. Like as long as a nigga got talent, he can do whatever the fuck he want. No, y'all ain't trying to hear that shit. When you are a celebrity and then you in that light, and this is what niggas got to understand. Niggas might not feel that way when they up there, or a celebrity might, I don't owe nobody shit. You, you, you can feel that way, but regardless of fact of the matter, fact of the matter is this. Niggas look up to you. Little kids look up to you. Fucking, they want to be you. They aspire to be like you. So regardless if you acknowledge that you are a role model or not, you are influenced, you have influence, especially over the young kids. So, bro, when it come to come to push, come to show, we may we're we're condoning 
we're condoning the 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 justification that a man should could basically can walk on water as long as he has some ability that nobody else in the world seems to have. Crucify me again for this. I ain't see what the fucking big deal was, honestly. Kill me. I don't see. Now you can go and put me. I don't see what the fucking big deal was with Kelly. Nigga called me crazy. Internet. A million and fucking. Oh. But for all the shit that's what's going on and him standing trial and all this and all that. For all that shit that's going on for years and act, accusing this guy. Not for that. Not for that. You fucking little girl, you got sex. Call. You can be as sexual as you want to and fuck and do whatever. Because, hey, I'm a freak. I do freaky shit. But when it's a, it's a line. It's a line. It's a line, bro. All right. So, I ain't judging. I ain't judging him, man. I ain't judging nobody. I just feel like we allowing, you feel me, a nigga just because he got a superstar ability. Put it like this. I'm going to say one name, Bron James, Bron Jizzy James, y'all. He one of the few examples of how to lead, how, how to be in a position. And that's why he going to be a GOAT, regardless if niggas feel like he better than Jordan. He's better. He's a better role model, all-around guy, bang-out guy. Ain't he stand for the cause? Ain't he speak out? That's how you supposed to fucking do it. That's how you be in a, in a leadership role. And, and some shit might come out about Bron, who knows? Nigga always got to find some shit when a nigga the goat. Henson, hint, point in case, R. fucking Kelly. Something had to be fucking wrong, right? He too fucking, he was, he was too nice. He was, he was the king of that shit. Something had to pop the fuck up. But, again, that's just me.